everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Hey guys, Cindy Utter here with my artsy endeavors. Hey, I just wanted to, I've been sitting here playing around with this stuff and I just figured I'd bring you guys on um, and show you what I'm doing. Okay, a couple things. First of all, I found this glue at a local discount store called Ollie's. And it's just homework clear school glue. Um, and I have these, they call these um, bezels, I believe, uh, that I had had from my old stained glass days. Um, now also, I have all of these from my stained glass. There's like, I have hundreds of this stuff. So it's everything from just squares to whatever that I've melted, dichro glass, uh, scraps here and there, and, and whatever. So this is all my stained glass stuff. So I've been thinking about it. And I'm like, you know, I really want to bring some of it into my art. Not a whole lot of it, just some of it. So this is what I decided to do. Um, I want to see, first of all, if this works, this clear school glue, in the way that I'm using it. So what I did is I took one of these bezels and I took a piece of my dichro stained glass and I took some of this um, string that I, I've saved from pulling um, just strips of fabric. So I put some of the string down in, I don't know if you guys can see it, can you see the string down in there? And then I put one of my stained glass pieces on top. And then I just covered it in this school glue, this clear school glue. So I've got a couple of them here. That's one. Here's another one. This one I put little sequins in and then a piece of the stained glass. Same thing, covered it with school glue. So I want to do another one. Now, I think what I'm going to do with this one, same thing. I'm just going to take some of this string because, you know, we save everything. So why not save string? And I'm just kind of getting it kind of in a round position. I'm going to throw some glue down here. We're going to do it on this one. I'm going to put just put some glue down, random glue. And then I'm just going to put this on here. And um, I usually use my huh, tweezers, but I don't know where they are right now. So. So I'm just going to just kind of stick it down here into the glue just to make sure the, the string stays. I might have a little bit too much string, but that's okay. I'm going to put some glue on top. And then I'm just going to put the stained glass piece right on top of it. Push it down so that it gets flat. I'm going to take the glue and just go around. See, that's pulling the string. gonna play and that's what I've been doing is just playing with this can't wait to see what they come out like I don't know if this is gonna work like the crystal accents and just leave a clear coat um, I hope so but I'm not positive so we will see all right let's take that and put it back in the middle somewhat in the middle all right and now I'm just gonna take some more glue and I'm just going to go around the outside. And then I'm going to let it dry. And we will see what happens. Alright, so I'm just laying them here on this non-stick mat thing I have. It's actually a cutting board from the dollar store. Um, here's a couple of the pendants that I had made when I was back in stained glass doing pendants. All right, so let's do, why not, let's do another one. Um, this is the, whoops, one of the jars that I have of all kinds of stained glass stuff. There's another pendant. Um, I used to uh, melt marbles. I'd take them and cut them in half and melt marbles. This one has a piece of copper in it. I don't know if you can see that. You see the copper in there? Yep. Alright, so I wish I had smaller ones. Alright, let's look at this. And 
another pennant. This is actually a marble. I would take marbles and put them on my machine, cut them in half, and then melt them down and put a pennant on them. But again, that was the old days. So let me see how I can do this. Now this, well, we're going to try it. I know I don't need anywhere near as much. So I think that's more than enough. Let's see if we can do this again. Let's throw some glue down. You know what? There's the glue. I'm going to do some um, uh, crystal accents. Just so we can see. I'm sorry, glossy accents. Just so we can see the difference in the clear versus the... Um, you know, the glue, that sort of thing. Alright, so I'm just gonna put a little bit there of the glue. We're gonna put some of this string down. And I'm sorry if you hear noise, my husband's out pressure washing the house. That's why I call him putter utter. He never slows down. Whoops. Come on, stay in there. Alright. So we just have kind of a little background of string. Got it stuck on me. And now we are going to put on the piece of glass. And then I'm just going to go around the glass with the glossy accents. Just going to drop it and make it basically and I see one spot where I need more see it right there no spot. all right so that one's done with glossy accents so we're gonna put that one down here let's do a couple more why not because we can we can um, Nope. So so round. I need to get some. I need to go downstairs and see if I have any more of these for the um, more of these round ones. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? So again, gonna take some of this string. And I'm sure this I could do this with all kinds of things. I just happen to have this string on my desk today. And um, I, for some reason, I had to get out my glass for something. And I just decided, yeah, let's play. So we are playing. All right. Just got a little bit too much. I'm going to pull some of it out. better. Okay, so we're just going to throw some glossy accents down just a little bit to make it stick. Okay, now we're going to put this on top. You know, I wonder what that was. I'm going to have to do one just this, just the, um, string because I want to see what it looks like. Alright, and then I'm going to do glossy accents around it. Alright. We're just going to add some more, a little bit here and there, different spots that I see. There we go. This one uh, is ready. It's going over a little bit. I don't want it to go over. All 
All right, let's see what happens. All right, I'm gonna let these dry, most likely overnight. I am gonna do a real quick one with string. Actually, I can do that right now. Let's do a real quick one with string. I just think this will be so cool. It's so pretty, you know? Too much string. Doo -doo -doo. Come on. Come out, string. Too much. something just flat. And here we go. Just going to cover it in glossy accents. We're going to let it dry. Take out any bubbles I see, or leave bubbles in, doesn't matter. And let's see what happens. All right, guys, so I will be back and show you what these look like once they've dried. We'll be back soon. Hey guys, all right, so these are dry. Um, don't mind the tray that they're on. That's just a messy tray. And here they are. Now these three, remember I did with the clear glue? All right, hold on, okay. These three I did with the clear glue. Now what it looks like is the clear glue is gone. Same thing here, the clear glue is completely, it looks like it's completely gone. And that's that clear glue, that's the one that, um, the Elmer's, look at that. Now of course with the crystal accents, or, I'm sorry, glossy accents, they all come out the way we normally think they would, okay? That's just a little piece of fabric underneath with a little stone. So, hmm, clear glue? I kind of like this because if you look, you can still see the depth of the bezel. And I mean, it's all glued in there. It's not going anywhere. But I think that is really, really cool. Again, glossy accents. These are all fine, just the normal. All right, so keep your eyes out for that clear glue. Um, like I said, I found it in a discount store here, and it's just clear school glue, and it's made by UCHI, whatever that is. All right? So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, have fun playing and see what you can come up with. All right? And look at all this happy goodness. Okay. As always, you guys have fun. That's what life's all about, happy creating, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!